Hey guys, it's me, Raymond. Just kidding, it's actually Omari. Uh, got a nice, nice little surprise in the mail today. I had a uh, Kickstarter board game arrive. This is Viscounts of the West Kingdom. It's from uh, the same designer as uh, Raiders of the North Sea, uh, which is a big hit here at our table. And also, uh, he's done Paladins of the West Kingdom and Architects of the West Kingdom. I think all of those games the guys have liked and we've played. Uh, particularly Raiders. I know Khan, I know you own a copy of that too. Anyway, this is his latest game. Shem Phillips. Still with the same artist who I like his style. So, just breaking up the day here. Uh, I was not expecting this Kickstarter to arrive so soon. It was quite a surprise. Um, thought I'd let you guys join me for a little unboxing. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay. So we got our rule book. One of the things I like about these guys is uh, they've got very clear rule books. As you can see, there's a lot of illustrations, and the games are all kind of all kind of built on each other. So once you learn the sy symbology from one, it carries over to the rest pretty simply. Uh, and then that's another cool thing about his games is again once you've learned the rules, with a quick refresher at the start of each game, you can figure out just about anything strictly from the uh, the symbols on the cards. You learn the symbology really quick that he uses for his games. So this is actually a little heftier than usual, but that's the other thing is he makes them in trilogies and the trilogies um, keep stepping up the complexity. So some cards, uh, nice wooden player pieces. So a whole lot of them looks like at least one, two, three, four, five, six players perhaps. More cards. Sacks and the punch outs. A whole lot of punch outs and player boards. So, this is another feature of most of his games, not all. Each player, you're playing on your own board to an extent, but you're also playing on a shared board. And in this case, look at this weird thing. I believe it's going to go in the middle. Yeah. And. It's got some sort of market system where by this rotating, it's changing the prices of the different resources. I believe this was described as a deck builder slash worker placement. And that's a mix of genres that I've liked in some other games, notably uh, Clank. Uh, well, Clank's not worker placement. It's more uh, just movement with deck building. Um, but I like worker placement. I like deck building. so And I like this designer. So that's... Three for three, so it should be something pretty cool. I don't know, maybe we'll try it out this weekend. Um, if people want to come out of their caves. Not too impressive, but again, this guy's, this guy's, the best thing about this company is the game design, but then I do like the, the look of their arts as well. It's like comic booky and cartoony, but still not too over the top. All right, man, let you guys know once we play what it's good for.